there. I want to talk to you about our art contest that we participate in each year, which is the North Carolina Aviation Art Contest. Now, this contest, and you can see some from my from the past that my students have made, is an art contest that is sponsored by the North Carolina Department of Transportation Division of Aviation. And as you see, aviation is flight. We see planes, we see rocket ships, um, we see some very old Da Vinci style flying machines, uh, hot air balloons, you name it, helicopters, you name it that we've made or someone has made and it flies, it is probably considered aviation. So this theme was aviation yesterday and tomorrow, which means that there's older and newer things that are presented in um, the artwork. You can also see that this paper is a little bit bigger than a normal computer paper and we'll talk about that too. So the aviation contest is voluntary, which means it's not required, but it is a great way to win some prizes and maybe even some money at the state level. Um, anyone that is six years old to 17 years old in North Carolina and you attend the school is eligible to um, create artwork and submit it. Now, here are some things you should know about the contest. This year's theme is design your perfect aircraft. So you should probably research some aircrafts um, if you're with me, I'm going to give some aircraft information for you so that way you can study some and therefore use some of their characteristics to design your own aircraft. Um, another thing you should know is that when you're making artwork, you should not copy somebody else's, which should be pretty obvious, but just as a reminder. Now, you can look at what's called source imagery to figure out how to draw a plane, but you shouldn't look up artwork of planes and then copy maybe this exact picture and change it a little bit. So there is a difference between using source imagery, images of planes and stuff like pictures, and then there's copying someone's idea, having this exact setup. Okay. Um, now, when you're creating, you're probably gonna wanna create a sketch first. Do a practice one, do it on small paper, and then you'll get big paper. If you're one of my students, I'm gonna give you this paper as well as the form that you have to fill out for the contest, which is this. All right, once you have an idea and you've done some research and you've done a sketch and you've shown me and I've given you some paper, um, let's talk about materials. For the materials, you have to use things that won't erase. So no colored pencil, no normal pencil, no charcoal, um, no computer generated artwork, so it needs to be by hand, and no collages that involve photocopies because if it's a photocopy, it's probably someone's picture or artwork. What you can use, and of course you can use a pencil first, but then you have to color, color it with watercolor, acrylic paint, um, any pens that won't erase, anything like crayon. Um, you can use Sharpies, uh, markers that won't rub off. That's what you should be coloring with it, so that way it doesn't get messed up. Also, it shows up a lot brighter and more interesting. Um, another thing you should know is that if you are going to turn it in for this contest, it needs to be, for me, um, to me by January 5th with the form. Um, it needs to, for everybody, be at RDU Airport, at the Aviation Center um, by January 10th. So this is an on-your-own thing, and if you need help, of course you can ask. I think that's all the information I need to tell you right now. Today you're probably just going to start brainstorming, and then we'll work on getting you paper, materials, whatever else you need um, to make your aviation artwork, which will be to design your perfect aircraft and hopefully put something around it to make it look more interesting and a complete composition.